If you've ever tried to list inventory using your Amazon seller account, then you know just how confusing and time consuming this process can really be. But I'm going to show you how I streamline this process and take all of the confusion out of it. Hi, I'm Cassandra Barney with Profit Guru. I'm a teacher, mother of three, and Amazon FBA seller. Here at Profit Guru, we're dedicated to trying strategies out and continually improving our own software to help other Amazon sellers just like you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now before we get to the demo where I'm going to show you step by step exactly how easy Inventory Lab makes it to list and ship your items, first I want to remind you of the giveaway that we're doing here. Now each month we're going to be looking for three people to give them a completely free annual subscription to Profit Guru. Now how can you do this? It's super simple. If you're already a subscriber, all you have to do is interact with our videos in the comment section. And if you're new here and not already subscribed, just subscribing will get you entered into the giveaway. For those of you that are already subscribed to our channel, thank you so much. And to get an entry into this giveaway, right now drop a comment below and let us know, have you used our software before? Or is the Profit Guru software something completely new to you that you're excited to win this subscription to? Before I take you into the demo, let me go through some supplies that you're definitely going to need. The first one being boxes, obviously, to put your inventory in to ship. The next one being these airbags so that you can fill any extra space inside those boxes and keep your products safe. You'll also want to have some poly bags like this on hand and a rule for Amazon, your poly bag has to have a suffocation warning on it. So if the bags that you get don't, you're definitely going to want to make and print some stickers that have that warning on it. Poly bags are great for sets. So if you have an item where you want to sell three of them, you're going to need to keep them together. So you would put them in the bag and then you would put on the front, this is a set. So that the people at the warehouse know not to open up this bag and to take the items out. The next thing you'll want is a label printer and labels to go with it. This next one is optional, but I definitely recommend it. And that's a barcode scanner. Now, you don't necessarily need this. You can look up the ASINs and then put them in manually, but this is going to save you a lot of extra time. You'll also need some packing tape, and if you want to spend a few extra dollars, this handheld one will definitely help eliminate a lot of the fights that you have with the tape. And the last item that you'll definitely need is a digital scale just like this because you're going to be required to measure and weigh the boxes. All right, stick around to the end with me because I'm about to show you step by step exactly how you can take your items, list them, prep them, and send them off to the warehouses. Let's go. So here we are on Inventory Lab. If you don't already have a membership, you can actually try this out for completely free for 30 days. From Inventory Lab, you're going to be able to do all of these things. You'll be able to research products. If you do the arbitrage model, you'll even have an app that you can download called Scoutify, and it is going to really help you when you're outsourcing to tell you if the items are really good items or not. You can simplify your listing, manage your inventory, and track profitability. One of my favorite aspects is also the accounting feature that this has. It's going to keep a really good tab of how much money you have going out and how much you have coming in. So it'll be all in one place. And then you can even download those as PDF files. Inventory Lab is super affordable. For all of this, it is only $40 a month. So that is completely a, a great price for everything that you get. Once you sign in, to start listing your items, you're gonna to come to the top, go to list, and then list and prep, and it'll bring you right here. Now we're going to wanna to create a new batch. Now we'll make sure that everything looks correct. Your address, your packaging type. These are just gonna be individual products, but if you have like cases of the same item, then you could put them in as case packs. But if you just have a ton of different items that you're going to put into one box, then you're just gonna put individual. The channel flow, I send mine in, so I'm gonna keep it FBA. But if you ship stuff out yourself, you're a merchant fulfilling, you would change that over to MFN. The label preference, if you're gonna be putting all of the labels on the items yourself, you will leave it like that. If you wanna pay to have stuff labeled, then you could choose one of those items. And then you'll wanna keep box content on and in the shipping method, a small parcel, and then create. Now we're gonna come over here to the right, and this is where we're going to put in the item that we wanna add. 
So if you don't have a barcode scanner, this is where you're going to want to go to Amazon and get the ASIN for that product. So say you had this Dove shampoo that you wanted to list. You would find the listing you want to hop on, and then you're going to scroll all the way down to the details. Here, you'll be able to copy the ASIN, and then you would put that right over here to have that listing pop up. Now, I don't have to do that and to go and find all of the ASINs because I have this barcode scanner, so I'm just going to scan my first item. Now that I've scanned it, you can see that it pops right up. If there was more than one listing for this item, then all of the listings would pop up and you'd have to pick the one that you wanna hop on. For example, maybe if there was a two pack of this, I would select that one, but this is just an individual item and this is the correct listing, so I will select. So first, I will want to scroll up, make sure everything looks good. I can set a reminder, so if this hasn't sold in time, to remind me about it. Then I'm gonna wanna check if this has a battery or not. This particular item does not, not regulated. So the quantity, how many of these do I have to sell? So I'll put in how many I have. How much did you purchase this item for? So I bought these for $1.98 each. You'll put in the day you purchased them and then your supplier. If it's an item that can expire, then you're gonna to wanna to put the expiration date. If it doesn't have an expiration date because it's not something that expires, you would just turn that off. But since these do have an expiration date, I'm just going to pop that in there. Now, nothing else I need to change. Over here, this is a really helpful piece of information. It's going to show me all of the sellers that are right now active on this listing. Over here would be the FBM sellers, so the ones that are merchant fulfilling. And then over here are going to be the FBA sellers. So I can see the seller that's on this listing right now has it listed for 1099. So if I also list this for 1099, having bought it for $1.98 each after it sells, I'll be making $3.61 profit in my pocket. And that is an ROI of just over 182%. So everything looks good over here. I just like to double check to make sure I put in the right amount, price, and expiration. And then I'm just gonna hit add to batch. Now the label's going to pop up. So you're just going to plug in your label printer and print as many labels as you need for how many items you have. So because I have 12 of these, I'm going to print 12 of my labels. Then where I wanna put this is right over the barcode that's on the bag. I don't want the people who are scanning this in to scan the barcode on the bag. I want them to scan this FN SKU so that the item gets associated with me and my seller account. So now you'll see that it's added over here. So this is where it's going to tally up everything that I have in the shipment. Now I'm going to list my second product. So you can see here that two of them popped up. It is an 8.5 ounce shaker. This one does not have a rank or any offer, so I'm not gonna select this one. This is the listing I wanna jump on. Now for my quantity, how many do I have to sell? I have five. What I purchased this item for was $4.98. From Walmart again, May 16th, 2023. So I put in the right quantity, the right expiration. Now I'm coming over here. Okay, so FBM sellers, there is one here. And then these are all the FBA sellers. So if I wanted to be the most competitive and list it for what the buy box is standing at right now, that's what that symbol means. This person currently has the buy box. So when someone goes on the listing and clicks add to cart, it would be this seller that's getting the sale. So I wanna be competitive to that. So if I list it for the same price that the buy box currently has, I'll be making $6.02 every time one of these sells for a 120% ROI. Let's add to batch. Again, my SKU is gonna pop up, so I'm printing five out of my label maker and putting them over top of the barcode that is on the product. And you'll see that it's added it here. Now this next item isn't being found when I scan it, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go into Amazon and find that listing. So I can see a couple of them pop up here. This one has less sellers, but the rank isn't as good and the buy box is suppressed. 
So here I can see the price and here I can see the price. So because there's no price here, that means that the buy box has been suppressed by Amazon. That makes it a little harder for buyers to buy the item. So I'm not gonna wanna jump onto that one. So this is the listing that I'm going to get the ASIN and jump onto. So I'll come down to the product details and just copy the ASIN and paste into the search. There it is, now it's popping up. Another great feature is that it's going to take the guesswork out of how you need to prep your items. So right here where it says prep type, if there's any special prep work that needs to be done for the item, it's going to tell you right here. If it doesn't need to be prepped any special way, then you're just going to see NA. Once all of my items are here and listed, now I'm going to go down to the bottom and see what my net profit looks like. So I've scanned a total of eight MSQs, 56 items, an average sales rank of 41,000, so that's really strong. The total sales value, the buy cost, and then my profits. Now we'll go to review batch. Now I'm just going to glance over and make sure that all of the quantities and the rest of the information is correct. If everything looks good, then I'll submit. Now this is just telling you that it's syncing the details to your seller central and you will click sync. So now I can see all of the proposed shipment plans. So I can see that this one box, here's the destination, and 41 of my items are going to go there. So I could create that batch. This next box, eight of the items will be in, and then buy. So this is three separate shipments that it wants these products to be in. The reason is because some warehouses might need more products than others. So if one of the items that I've already scanned, maybe this warehouse already has a ton of them, then they're gonna want them to go to a different warehouse. The one with 43, I know that I definitely want to submit this shipment plan, so I'm going to come here and click Create. Now I can see exactly what to put into this box. So I can see the item and then the quantity. So the cookie mix, I'll put nine into this shipment. The seasoning, it wants all five. For the lash serum, only nine of them. The airbrush away, 10 and 10 frostings. So now if I choose to follow through with this shipment, I'm going to click yes, create. Now over here on the side, I can see that this is now a working shipment. What I'm going to do is hit this little hamburger and go to box content information. Here's where you're going to assign each item to its box. So the first box I can see right here is named U001. So all nine of my cookie mix fit into that box. I'm gonna come here to assign. This is the name and all nine are going into that box. So I'll click assign. So now I can see those cookies are in my first box. I'll put all five of my seasonings in that same box. So I'm not gonna change the box number. All five are going in, assign. I'll do the same for the rest of these items, assign them to that same box. Now this frosting, is heavy and there's 10 of them. So if I wanted to put this in its own box so that there's enough room, I need to add another box to the shipment. So I'm gonna come up here where it says boxes and click on new. How many boxes would you like to create? Just one more. And then there it is. So when I'm assigning this frosting to a box, I'm going to put all 10 into box two. See how I have two selected? And then for the box name, I can see that it's box two and I'll assign. There, now I can see all of these first items are going into box number one, and then I'll have a second box to put these frostings into. Now that the box content information has been provided, I can come here to transmit updated boxes. Now I'll need to weigh my boxes and put in the dimensions. So I'll do this individually. For the first box, I'll put the weight, the length, the width, and the height. And then the second box, the weight, the length, the width, and the height. Next, it's going to tell you that your box information has been sent to Amazon. Now what you'll do next is come over here and click on it to bring you to Amazon. Make sure that your shipping service is correct. 
Next, check your shipment packaging. Make sure it's the right number of boxes and the right dimensions. And then you can come here and calculate your shipping charges. After you've calculated and accepted the shipping charges, then you'll come down here and put in the shipping date so that Amazon knows when you're going to be dropping it off to be delivered. And next, bring your boxes and drop them off to UPS. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and that you got to see just how easy Inventory Lab makes listing and shipping your items. Please subscribe to our channel because we put out new videos each and every week on Mondays. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.